Welcome back, everybody. Today we are playing Hostage Negotiator again. This time we are going to be facing off against Edward Quinn. This is going to be our first abductor. And we're starting with the negotiator first, and then after we finish this game, we'll go on and um, switch out to the matriarch like we did last time. So, uh, if you've been following me so far, uh, I'm going to read you the story of Edward Quinn, then the negotiator, and then we'll get started and tell you anything about special rules and so forth. All right, so Edward Quinn, with no medical insurance to cover treatments for his dying son, Edward has decided to take matters into his own hands. He has hijacked an entire floor at a local hospital. As soon as his son gets care, he won't kill any hostages. But the situation is volatile, and if Edward gets pushed too far, it could end in disaster. He just wants to save his son, no matter the cost. Now, because it links directly with the story, Edward's special rule is, anytime a hostage would be killed, instead move the threat level up by that amount. If threat ever reaches K, Edward immediately kills all the hostages and escapes. And if all hostages are saved, Edward immediately surrenders. All right. We are facing off with the negotiator. Few in the precinct even know Mick by his real name. Everyone just knows him as the negotiator. Maybe it's because he never smiles and doesn't have any friends. But when hostages get taken, he is the only option anyone will even consider. He has saved countless lives, influencing hostage takers using whatever means necessary. Now, I don't mean to be negative, but each time we've played the game with the negotiator, even though he's the only one to talk to, We've not yet won. All right, so let's take a look. We have our standard six cards as we would, and then um, we'll just get started. Give me one second. I like to log my plays. Um, home, and we time it. All right. Anyway, okay, so we have our standard six cards, uh, all of which are doubles, but we will play what we always play to get started, which are, what are your demands? Well, here we are. You hold all the cards. Tell me what you want. All right. And we are in the two dice uh, position of the, uh, com uh, sorry, the threat level. You have to, excuse me, I almost called it the horror level because we played Final Girl yesterday. All right. So, two dice. All right. We didn't do great, and we don't want that happening where threat goes up. So, I think we're going to discard the other what are your demands and the small talk. All right, so we're going to discard two to turn this into a success. Okay, so we're going to reveal a demand. All right. So, he wants to expose the system. The system is broken, and Edward wants the world to know. He wants to tell his family's story to a reporter. Add two hostages to the hostage pool. That shouldn't be a problem. Look how many I have. All right. Add two hostages. And I'm playing with everything down so you can see it. All right. Come on, focus. Um, put a random new Edward Major, De Edward Major Demand card into play face up. Remove this card from play. So if we concede this demand, it'll go down by two, but he gets a new uh, major demand here. And there's no penalty for conceding that. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't concede that demand. So let's go into the box and get Edward's cards. And so he's got two other cards. So let me go ahead and shuffle. So we're going to go down one, two. And then it's face up. Okay, so now the new demand is keep my son alive. Edward's son has taken a turn for the worst. Each time a terror card is resolved that has a secondary effect, whether this effect resolves or not, you must place a conversation card from your hand under this demand card to send medicine for Edward's son. If you can't, you lose the game. If there are more cards under this demand card than hostages in the hostage pool, you may spend seven uh, conversation points, I almost call them communication points, to provide medical care for Edward's son, you win the game. All right. The only thing I'm going to play now, though, is small talk. I'm going to try to get conversation points. Um, and another thing here. 
we're just going to get a conversation point and the X means conversation done. Okay, so I will buy the reroll, which is basically all I can get at this point. Oh, wait, hold on. I rolled three dice. Same thing. All right. All right, and that's all I'm going to buy. I'm going to take all these. These are all zeros and put them in the zero pile. All right, terror. All right, a minor demand. Water. Concede during any conversation for an additional dice. When any threat roll is failed during this conversation, it will end. Um, a terror card with a secondary effect. I do believe I still have to put a card underneath for the medicine. So I will take one keep cool that I have and put it underneath. All right. More cards under this demand than hostages. Okay, so right now there's not. All right. All right, so that's all taken care of. We head back to the conversation phase. I only have two things to play, so what I'll play now is keep cool. All right, and I got three dice. And I got three successes. So we go down to S, and we get a conversation point. And I'm not going to do anything with this card because it's my reroll. So now we're going to go into the conversation phase. I'm going to take all these zeros. And I'll snag another of the re-rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, because we can only have ten cards. All right. And then Keep Cool comes down into the zero spot. I do apologize for the glare. Let me see if I can fix that. I hope that helps. There we go. All right. So if you've hit a thumbs down in this video because you didn't like the glare, I'm sorry. I fixed it now. Okay. So we spent our one conversation point. We get a terror card. Your time is running out. Discard half the remaining red. Focus. I even tried last time pulling the card out of the sleeve, wondering if the matte sleeves, because I do like the matte sleeves, are hindering it. But it doesn't. Discard half the remaining red terror cards rounded down and then discard this card. You may instead discard two red terror cards and shuffle this card back in with the remaining red terror cards. All right. It does not have a secondary ability, so I don't have to send medicine. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard two red terror cards. And then shuffle this back in with the rest of the red tarot cards. All right. And then place it back here. Okay. Now we're in conversation mode again. Um, let's go ahead and do some... Where's the other one? Oh, it's underneath the thing. That's the only thing I had. Do some small talk again. We got our three dice. One success gives us two conversation points. All right. I'm hoping to find three so we can do a minor extraction. So we're going to try that again. And that'll be three conversation points. All right. We're actually just not doing terrible. And just because I said that means we will now do terrible. Okay. Um, we don't have to worry about demands or anything, and I'm going to keep these two, so let's go straight to conversation phase. So we have five. What I'm going to do is take this Just Stay Calm, uh, which will uh, lower his threat by two, and then the Minor Extraction, which can get some hostages out for us. So that's all of it there. And then this comes down to the zeros. Terror! Don't tempt me. Roll a die. If the result is less than or equal to the current threat level, let's see if I can make this. There we go. Uh, kill a hostage. We rolled a four, so we don't do that. And there are no unrevealed demands. So not a bad terror roll. Or sorry, terror card. So first things first. Uh, now we're going to. Do this, just stay calm. I know you're angry, but just stay calm and don't do anything rash. If you kill any of the hostages, all bets are off. So just stay calm. So the positive about this card here 
is that if I get two successes, we'll free two hostages because he's at that point. All right, so I'm rolling three dice with one success, but I'm also going to play the re-roll, which is what I meant was, no, I didn't mean that. What I meant to say was I completely understand where you're coming from, so tell me how I can help you. All right, now we have two successes. So this would go up two, but because it's at the top already, we have saved two hostages. Okay. Remember, in this scenario, Edward's never really going to kill any hostages. He is just going to be um, a suit. Well, when, we, when he kills a hostage, we would up threat. So now let's try to do that minor extraction. I don't know who was in there, but it wasn't us. We've done nothing aggressive. Do you have anyone on your team you don't really trust? Let's see what we got. Two successes. So that's two more hostages saved. All right. The only things I have left now, of course, are the what are your demands. So I'm going to play that because I want to try to get some conversation points. And we got two, so we would do that. Okay, and I'm going to keep these two because remember, we got to have cards that can be put under there. Oh, let me just put this reroll. That was a secondary effect, even though it wasn't resolved. Okay. So now we're going into the conversation phase. I'll take all these zeros, and I only have two. So let's take another just stay calm. All right. And that'll be that. And this is zero. Minor extraction is three. One. And they just stay calm. All right. The terror phase. A moment of weakness. Save a hostage. No secondary effect. All right. Now, I believe if I were to have um, one hostage left in the hostage pool, I could spend seven conversation points, but of course I don't have those right now. All right. Let's start with the Just Stay Calm, which could get us possibly two hostages. Ready, and we have one success, and I don't have a reroll, but that would at least get us one hostage I could just discard these two, and then we'd get two hostages, turning this into a success. All right, so let's do that. Because remember, too, uh, if all the hostages get saved, uh, we also will win the game by capturing him immediately. Because I believe, let me just check, one of the ways to win, the abductor has been captured. All right, so we do need to capture him. Okay, do I have anything else I want to play? Yeah, keep cool. See if we can get one more. And we went and got a conversation point, and this ticks down, so we are here. All right, I'm feeling positive. Okay, so we're in conversation phase. The only one I can get right now is what are your demands and the re-roll. Okay. All right, that's all we can get, and these will all come down. Uh, here's the two and the three zeros. All right. Don't test me. Roll a dice. If the dice result is less than or equal to the current threat level, kill a hostage. All right. So it is... Um, oh, no, it's less than. Okay, so we rolled a five. Um, however, it does have a secondary effect, uh, which means we have to put a, a card underneath and I'll get rid of this what are your demands card I made a mistake I should have kept cool all right so I don't have much going into the next one um, so let's go ahead and do small talk let's try to get some conversation points if I get at least three I can do a minor extraction and this will be all over fairly quickly all right uh, so that is that and I'll play the reroll for at least one and I can't, so it's just one, so I get two points. I can at least try to do the just stay calm. So let's go straight into the spend phase. I'll take just stay calm and all my zeros. And then the reroll. Boop. And small talk. All right. Then terror is a minor demand uh, for food. 
concede to ignore that, but there is remove the associated conversation card from the game. All right, so I'm not sure if we'll need to concede to any demands next round. We have stuff that's fairly good to do, uh, at least to get that threat level down. And as soon as we, ca we uh, rescue that last hostage, we'll have won. All right, so now it does have a secondary effect, that demand. So I'll just put this, what are your demands, underneath here. Okay. All right, so let's play Just Stay Calm. I just need one success. And that was nothing. So do I have that reroll? I don't. So this is going to go up one, and our conversation is over. And this should be down to zero. Okay. So the only thing I can do is buy this card. This one comes over here. All right. Terror card. Draw and resolve the next red terror card. Your time is running out. Discard half the remaining red terror cards. Round it down. Oh, this is the one we did before. So we only have one terror card remaining. So we'll discard that down, and then the next one will be our pivotal event. And I'm hoping that we can at least handle some of what's going on here. Um, might be tricky, though. So, all right, we're back into the conversation phase. Let's play Keep Cool. We have one success, so that'll bring us down at least to S. Then we'll play more small talk. These dice are killing me. And then the conversation is over. All right. So these now, I have one point. I can only really get the reroll. All right, so these coming down because they were both zero. And this resets here. So the pivotal event. Place your highest cost conversation card back in the available area with no effect. So the next conversation phase, highest cost is my reroll, is going to be it. I think we were very close, but I just could not grab the amount of cards. And I made a huge error that I played that keep cool card as part of that there. So small talk here. Nothing. And that is it. We're out of the terror deck because that is one of our lost conditions. You're unable to draw a terror card during the terror phase. All right, very close, but let's see what we can do with the matriarch. Join me back up here in a few minutes and we'll see what we can do. All right, welcome back everyone. Now we are playing with the matriarch and you're probably all sitting there going, why has he never used the special abilities? Well, I haven't had need for him yet. I roll terribly as you can see. So the matriarch's story is, after being diagnosed with stage four breast cancer at too young an age, Annette decided to use her gift as an educator to teach apprentice negotiators different techniques. She's never let her diagnosis affect how she lives her life. Most of her students are surprised at her level of knowledge and wisdom. She's quickly become known as the matriarch because of the care and support she gives to each of her students. And her ability is, once per game, if you would lose the game after a threat roll, you may ignore the result and re-roll instead. All right, I'll try to remember that this time. And of course, we have our standard six cards. I'm not going to read Edward Quinn's uh, story again, but once again, this is the thing where instead of killing hostages, it's they get um, the, the threat goes up, and if it ever reaches K, we immediately lose. So let me get myself set up here to make sure that I log this play. And... Here we go. So first things first, I do need to know what are your demands. I want to help you, but my hands are tied until you tell me what it is that you want. All right. Back to two dice. Ooh. So I got the discard or else it's going to go up one threat. So let's go ahead and do the other what are your demands and a small talk to turn that into a success. And we can reveal this demand. All right, it's the same one as the last time with uh, Keep My Son Alive. Edward's son has taken a turn for the worst. Come on. You can focus. All right, I'm just going to read it. Um, each time a terror card is resolved that has a secondary effect, we put something under there. As soon as there's more cards here than there are hostages left in the pool, we can spend seven conversation points to go ahead 
and um, to um, to win the game. Sorry, brain fart. All right, keep cool. Let's try some different dice. And yes, for some reason, I think that works. It doesn't. I just like to think it does. Hey, do successes. So we're going to go down by one, and we're going to get a conversation point. Um, let's keep going, because I love rolling three dice. Another keep cool. Oh, didn't work. So minus one conversation point. And I got nothing left to do. I mean, I could play this one, but I need a card going into the next round, and I'm not going to have any cards. So I'm actually going to, even if I discard it to get the point, that was just poor timing on my part. All right, so these are gonna come down here because I can't buy anything. All right, and all right, so this is, this is all your fault. Um, it is kill a hostage. Uh, whoops, things flying around over here. So instead it goes up there. The secondary effect makes me put this into this area. All right. Going into the next conversation phase, nothing happens because I have no cards, and so I'm just going to pick up these five here, okay? And it's back to the terror phase. I got a bad feeling about this. Plus one, and that's a secondary effect, so these are four now. So I'm going to get rid of the what are your demands card, all right, because it had a secondary effect. Now I have conversations that I can have. Okay, let's keep cool. Let's keep cool, everyone. Nothing. Great. So it's minus one conversation point. Um, let's try that again. Actually, no. Let's just try to get some conversation points going here. One success. So I'm going to end it. Get my one. Bring these down. There. Off to the terror deck. You'll never see it coming. Take a random gold pivotal event terror card from those out of play and place it face down on top of the terror deck. All right, I can do that. Whoop. All right. Next round. And there was no secondary effect on that one, so I don't have to lose a card. Let's try to keep cool and get that threat down. All right, I could re-roll that. I think I will. Good, so now it's minus one and we get a conversation point. All right, and I'm gonna end it and get the other re-roll in hand and more of these in hand. Probably playing it too safe, but I feel behind already. Off to the terror phase. Let's get this over with. You may discard three cards face down to free a hostage. You may do this as many times you are able. The abductor may not be captured due to this effect. I only have four cards, and I'd rather not do that going into the next round. So we're just going to pass on that. Okay. Keep cool. I need to get that threat down. One success. Get the threat down. All right. Let's get some conversation points. All right. Three conversation points. Great, because then we can do a hostage escort. Okay. And then a we could play what are your demands to try to get conversation points. All right, so we're at least getting one conversation point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all my zeros, which is just one. Then I'm going to take one of the re-rolls, and then this hostage escort, which costs three. And then these are all going to come down here. They are all zeros. Okay. Terror. Now uh, it is plus two on the uh, threat. Is that four? At the end of the next conversation phase, it'll be minus one, and we take one of these reminder tokens. I'm going to put. It says to put it on the conversation thing. I'll put them on the guy. All right. Let's. I'm going to try to do the hostage escort. So two successes will get us 
uh, two hostages. So nothing. So let's do the re one of our rerolls and the other reroll, or else we are in trouble. And that's bad because it's add a hostage to the pool, and the conversation is done. All right. Spent all that time getting those specific cards. Nothing happens. I have no conversation points, so I'll just take the zeros. And now the terror phase. Plus one. I've got a bad feeling about this. And if there are any unrevealed demand cards, it would go up an extra. Because that's a secondary ability, I'll slide what are your demands under that demand from the last time. All right. I'm going to do small talk. Let's see what happens. Oop. It, it is a blank, so that's plus one and the conversation is over. So I'm basically just getting this and then come down here. I'm not doing good. And it goes up threat again. And it has a secondary, so we've got to lose a card. So I will, I hate to throw out a reroll. Another keep cool. Okay. Um, so we're back to conversation. The only thing I can play is keep cool. Two successes, lowers that threat and gets us a conversation point. The only other thing in my hand is a reroll, so I have to end it. So I'm gonna take this zero back, take the other reroll, bring this down. Okay. And you're there. All right, make a threat roll. All right, I'm gonna do a reroll. I'll do my other reroll. I know I'm wasting it, but I don't want a threat to go up and I'd like to have at least one hostage saved. Okay, never mind. And kill a hostage makes that go up to five. Okay, no secondary ability, so I don't have to get rid of a card. And the only thing I can play is small talk to get some conversation points. All right. Uh, and that's three. All right, I don't hate that because I'll have to go take this one. Oh, if I only had one more, I'd try to get that. But let's go ahead and try to do the hostage escort again. All right. Terror. There's a minor demand, a radio. Concede, and then after the conversation card is resolved, it is done. Uh, I would get an extra two dice. So, yeah, actually, let's do that. So we're going to concede this. I'm going to get two extra dice for the next threat roll, which will be the hostage escort. Get this back down here. So hostage escort, and then the conversation will be done at the end of this, this round. And I have no rerolls, but I have at least one success. I've saved one hostage. However, that happens. Um, and then we're done. I'll take this zero. It's all I can take. And terror. Oh. Oop. All right. Delayed escape. If any escape, escape demand has already been conceded, the abductor escapes. You may ignore the cost and penalty for conceding any escape demand in the next conversation. If you concede an escape demand, turn it on its side, but leave it in play, then shuffle this card with the remaining red terror cards. He has no escape demands. All right. Let's try to keep cool. We're still in two dice. And that's minus one conversation point. Then let's do some small talk. Why not? So two, I can pretty much just get a reroll card. And these come down. And then the terror card is fit of rage, now plus two, he hits K, and that is it. Because remember, if he ever hits K, he kills all the hostages and uh, we lose. All right, so that is Edward Quinn. Uh, join us next week. Who's next week? Uh, Edward Quinn. Uh, it's Elijah Ramon. All right. See you then, everybody. Thanks for joining. Thank you.